Hello ladies and gents, Azakai here, bringing you to another video for the English version of Naruto Online, published by Oasis Games. We're going to be looking at the event announcement for the 1st of August, <coughs> 2019. We have a brand new ninja joining us next, um, <coughs> for this, next, blah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Shisui Uchiha Kimono. Very unique passive. Um, not passive. Well, sort of passive. I believe this is passive. But, um, I do believe that his chase actually gives you initiative, which is really stupid, I think. Uh, yeah, really stupid, I think. Really, ninjas shouldn't, like, secondary stats, um, difficult to, to say, really. I think initiative shouldn't have, well, shouldn't have anyone that gets more initiative. That would be weird, but it could be kind of cool concept as it could be buffs to older ninjas. Again, like the initiative thing is very weird. I am not 100% sure how it will work, but well, I know how it will work, but I mean how useful it is as a um, part of a person um, of a ninja's kit. But anyway, let's just continue on. Our weekly strong ninjas are Naruto Sage of Six Path, Itachi Uchiha Edo Tensei, Miento Namikaze Edo Tensei, and Madara Uchiha Great Ninja War. Free SS plundered chances for the top 150 in rank, um, ranked battles in merge servers. Interesting. <coughs> that happened. New themed arena, Chakra Overflow. So from August 1st to August 7th, so only for seven days in the new theme arena, gain an a gain an extra 20 chakra each round. Each round's chakra recovery at 40, 60, 80, 100, and 100 points, so on and so forth, allowing the use of more high consumption ninjas. Interesting. So basically, you could like go. S <clears throat> well, I mean. A lot of the time, I can't really think of any ninjas that require the extra chakra that don't already have a ninja that's available to be used. I mean, sorry, because you got because like the two people I think of straight away are Ten Ten, and here is an Edo Tensei, and like Ten Ten requires sixty, well here is and requires forty, and like you can use here is and straight away since you already have forty chakra. This would make Itachi, um, Edo Tensei, extremely useless, basically, in the first round, his um, his mystery would immediately just get be gotten rid of by just any basic um, re removal. Again, since you need more than 30, so 40, I think, I think it's, I think 40 works anyway. But enough about that. Time for the events of this week. For our first event of the week, we have Shinobi Feast Recharge Rewards. It goes from August 1st to August 7th. Players must reach level 21 in order to participate during the event. Players can get one chance to spin the wheel uh, by recharging 100 ingots. You can obtain a daily maximum of 500 spins. It's time to get Naruto Ronin Fragments and Shisui Uchiha Kimono. Each day, the spin will reset at zero at 0 hundred hours server time, so don't miss out. So you know for a fact that the Jackpot Ninja will be... Well, sorry. It'll be one of these two ninjas, sorry. There's the jackpot ninja. There's the, like, <clears throat> there's the jackpot ninja, and then there's the secondary. I believe Shisui Uchiha Kimono will be the secondary, and um, Naruto Ronin will be the um, primary. So it'll be very rare to see anyone actually get these unless they recharge a huge amount. Um, but you'll probably see people um, coming up with probably ten or so per per hundred dollars, maybe. Um, Shisui Uchiha Kimono ones, but um, that's just my guess. It could be different. You could get no frags, but um, that's all up to RNG. Although um, Shinobi Feast is okay in terms of um, the recharge um, events, uh, it wouldn't be the best way to get ninjas. 
That's why I always like the Itachi Susano or Edo um, or Edo Hashirama because their fragments are extremely useful, but they, you still get them consistently through the recruitment feature. Number, event number two. <clears throat> so the second event of the week is Shinobi Feast Lucky Feast. We have August first. Sorry, it goes from August first to August seventh. Players must reach level twenty one in order to participate during the event. Use ingots to buy packs and other items to get lucky credits. Lucky credits will influence your rate of being the winner in the lucky draw. Every zero hundred a.m. server time, to, um, lucky credits will be emptied, and the system will choose seven winners. The more your lucky credits, the higher the chance of being one of the winners in the lucky draw. This is a cross server event. Winners will receive their prize in the in-game mailbox. Um, Particularly don't like this event because you're really just gunning up against anyone that buys in the lucky um, in this lucky in the lucky piece, and it's really terrible. Well, not terrible, but I mean like it's again it's pure ingots, no coupons. So um, the conversion could be really bad at times. Number three is Shinobi Feast Arena Training. It goes from August 1st to August 7th. Players must reach level 21 in order to participate. All the rewards can only be claimed once during the event. And of course, you only win 15 times in arena, um, in ranked or training arena, to in order to redeem all the rewards. I mean, yeah, that's normally it's normally 15 wins. So you yeah, have seven days, win 15 days, win two twice every single day, and three times on the last day, and you got your 15 wins. Or you could bust out 15 wins on a single day. I'll be probably giving out a lot of wins. Number four, we have Super Carnival Lucky Draw. It goes from August 1st to August 14th, so two weeks. Players uh, must reach level 30 in order to participate. Log each day for one free draw chance and gain a future draw chance for each recharge of 250 ingots up to a total of 100 draws. Spend 100 ingots or coupons to draw. Each draw done this way will add 10 coupons to the prize pool. Each player has a chance to win the prize pool coupon. Um, it would be cool if the prize pool actually had a starting stash each day or like plus one like plus 1000 each day. That would be great. This would actually add incentive of people actually doing it, because actually winning some coupons from that is really good. Would be really good if, but I mean like, oh wait, it doesn't that it doesn't work like that. Reach the specific number of um, amount of draws to claim additional prize packs. Free draws are not included. The rewards refresh every ten minutes. Start drawing when you um, when you see what you like. Um. They increased it back to 100. I believe it was 50 at one point. Eh. When it was 100, it's not very worth it. But when it was 50, pretty worth it. I mean, like, sometimes you can get really, really good. Um, like, super, super good um, drops. Well, not drops, but, like, items that are on the wheel. Whether or not you get them, still a bit hard to say. I mean, I... From my limited experience, since I actually haven't gone really hard into it before, um, it's weighted it's it's weighted pretty heavily because you rarely ever get anything that's even worthwhile, honestly. But anyway, we have number six, time limited shop. It goes from August first to August seventh. Players must reach level. Sorry, players must reach level forty-five in order to participate. Uh, did I skip one? Yes, I did. Number five, sorry. Let's just go back one, up to number five. Super Carnival, super exclusive. It goes from August 1st to August uh, 14th. Players must reach level 30 in order to participate. Players who meet the requirements during the event to pati can participate in the purchase of the super discounted items. Super discounted? Not really. Meet one of the criteria to become a super player. Recharge a total of 500 ingots during the event. Or spend a total of 1,000 ingots during this event. It's great that they decrease to that 1,000. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it's pr going to be pretty limited to say that people will recharge, and the number of free um, free spins you get is again still a little bit limited. But it could, it could again like this event could be really good if the prize pool just had a starting thing, and it was restricted to each merge server and stuff. Because yeah, I mean like. If it was for everyone, that would be 
very interesting to see how the chances are to like drain the prize pool down. But anyway, that's just theory crafting. Well, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Number six is time limited shop. It goes from August 1st to August 7th. Players must reach level 45 in order to participate. Players obtain one point by logging in daily and obtain more points by completing plot related instances. Spend 10 ingots daily. Um, well, basically, spend every 10 ingots you spend, you get one point. And I think it's restricted to the day. So if you can't spend like nine ingots one day and the next day you spend one ingot, you get one point. No, you need to spend 10 ingots on the same day and you get an additional point, I believe. That's what it means. Remember to use the points before the deadline of the event, which is according to the computer time, or you're set to zero. Players can redeem the following rewards in this event. A. Fourth Raikage Tsunade Taisho Period, Madara Uchiha Great Ninja War, Mar uh, Minato Namikaze Edo Tensei Hana Style, and Ninja Assist Optional Pack. Number 7. Daily Spending Rebate. It goes from August 7th to August... Sorry, August 1st to August 7th. Players must reach level 30 in order to participate. Servers open more than 14 days. Sorry, servers must be opened for more than 14 days. During the event, players can get different rewards by using um, a given amount of ingots. Rewards and daily consumed ingots will be reset at 5 a.m. Server, um, sorry, every day. Just as 5 a.m. every day. I believe that will depend. I believe it will match up to your server time. Pretty sure. Uh, when players spend the required amount of ingots, you'll get the following rewards. You spend 100 ingots, you get coupon times 20, cave key times 4. 500 ingots, um, cultivation scroll times 15, cave key times 6. 1000 ingots, you get deluxe Miyoboku optional pack times 2, and ninja assist optional pack times 2. 3000 ingots, you get 20% um, discount voucher and refine rune optional pack times 12. Can't really say anything in favor of only 12 of those. If it was 20 maybe. 12? Not so much. It's only around about 7-ish hundred. Yeah, around about 700 coupons that's worth. I'm not sure how worth the discount voucher will be. I mean, it could, if you're spending a lot and you get 20% discount, it could, it could add up to um, a huge amount. But Again, uh, I'm really sad that like the the fact that discount vouchers you no longer ever see the 50% one. Seriously, like always, is bring back the 50% discount voucher. Let us participate in the event in the way it was intended, or like let us at least be able to get the maximum discount. It would make people who spend a lot spend even more because they would spend it straight away to get that 50% and and just buy something at 50% discount and it would be great. But I mean, I guess it's too much for value for to add a percentage modifier to, to, to prices. <sighs> Number 8, we have Lucky Board. It goes from August 1st to August 7th. Roll the dice smooth um, to move on the Lucky Board according to the points you obtain on the dice. Players can get the corresponding rewards marked on the grid. Complete plot or elite instances or complete daily missions to get free dice. You can get a maximum of two free dice per day. The dice can also be bought directly in the shop. Get five points every time you move into a prop grid and ten points when you move into the function grid, including the start grid. After you left the start grid for the first time, each time you pass the start grid or land on it, you'll receive a lucky ninja pack. Note, dice obtained for this week's event need to be used this week. Once the event ends, the dice you didn't use were used to zero. And of course, the reward panel has been updated. Oh, huh, interesting. I'm not sure. Um, although they don't state what's been changed, we can assume that probably one of the listed ninjas uh, for the strongest for this week is probably in there, and some probably some throwaway ninjas. Number nine, we have Lucky Wheel. I mean, Lucky Star Wheel. It goes from August 1st to August 7th. Spin the wheel to obtain a random prize. All players can have a free spin at the wheel every day. Extra spins can be obtained by using coupons or ingots to spin the wheel. Daily limit of 500 times. Use the obtain um, lucky stars to redeem from for amazing rewards. Rewards have been updated. Probably, definitely, <clears throat> probably, we'll be seeing another um, strong ninja on the wheel itself, and then probably another one in the um, redeem shop. 
Or it could be both. Probably ninjas being seen multiple times. Number 10, Lucky Snatch. I guess from August 1st to August 7th. Players must reach level 65 in order to participate. Use ingots or coupons to draw and have a try. Every draw is rewarded with a prize. If it didn't, it would be a pretty shitty event. <coughs> Alright. Um, players who draw a given amount of times receive extra rewards as rebate. Draw 50 times, you get a 10% um, discount voucher. 100 times, you get Madara Uchiha, Great Ninja War times 10. 200 times, Madara Uchiha, Great Ninja War times 15. 400 times, Madara Uchiha, Great Ninja War times 20. And draw 600 times, you get Madara Uchiha, Great Ninja War times 35. For a total of 80, great, um, 80 fragments, and that should be able to recruit Madara Uchiha, Great Ninja War. Along with that, saying it will probably cost you 30,000 coupons or ingots in order to get that. Is it worth it? Um, not really. I've never seen Lucky Snatch be worth it really. If they drop the draw count to 400 or 500 even, um, I think it would be worth it then. But other than um, any other time, yeah, not that. it's not that worth it. Number 11, we have Daily Special. It goes from August 1st to August 7th. Players must reach level 10 in order to participate. During the event, players can buy items at big discount this week. Every new item will present new... Every day will present new items with different discounts. Don't miss out. By using discount vouchers, you can get an extra discount on the current price. Discount vouchers can be obtained from Lucky Star, I believe it's supposed to say, and Daily Spending Rebate. Oh wait, no, Lucky Snatch. Yeah, I mean, like I just read it from here. Lucky Snatch and Lucky, um, Lucky Snatch and Daily Spending Rebate. I don't know why it's been censored though. Snatch is not really censored where, well, it shouldn't be. The rewards has been updated, of course. <laughs> They're not even rewards. There's just items in the shop. Number twelve, we have Summon Rebate. Eh, kind of an old function, not really worth anything nowadays. I mean, for people who have already collected all of the available um, summons from the thing, it's mostly just a slow grind to get the enough in order to actually do anything in the um, in the cultivation, or even in the um, chakra runes or something. I don't know what it's called right now, and I mean, like, I don't even pay attention to it anymore. I probably have like tons and tons of those runes stacked up. Um, apparently, so if I haven't said already, it goes from August 1st to August 7th, place must still 50 on order to participate, and the rewards have been updated. Um, oh yeah, don't forget that the summon um, rebate rebates um, summoning scrolls time limited, so you need to use those before the end of the week, or uh, um, before 7 days. I can't remember if it's 7 days or... I think it's time limited. Summoning scroll time limited, so it will disappear once the event ends. Number 13, Battle Armor Panic Buy. It goes from August 1st to August 7th. Players must reach level 43 in order to participate during the event. Players can buy Battle Armor materials at huge discounts, receive extra gift packs um, by using ingots or coupons in this event. Remarks, ingots or coupons used in other events will not be counted to buy the threads directly in the shop. The ingot slash coupons spent um, will also not be counted. Both ingots and coupons can be used in this event. Um, I didn't even check myself the last time um, this was on, but I mean, um, the actual rebate at the bottom, I didn't check if it was still ingot only, so keep a mindful eye out to see whether or not um, that is coupon compatible. If it's not, I mean, it's no big deal. The event itself is pretty terrible. Battle Armor is outdated by tons. Like, not just tons, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Number 14, Battle Armor Rebates. It goes from August 1st to August 7th. Please, players must reach level 43 in order to participate. Find this event in Hot Topics. Get rewards by upgrading your armor to the required levels during the event. Achievement gifts can be claimed after you reach the required rank of your armor. Each player can only get this achievement gift once in his playtime. Still haven't got the um, Tobirama Senju second Hokage. Still working on that. Um, Probably, again, like at, at this rate, I'm probably gonna have to get it from the Battle Armor rebate, but 
um, there's no way to actually just get advanced threads anymore. They kind of fully phase them out. Like it's impossible. They say um, strongest, um, strongest, well, strong approaching um, has battle threads. Um, like sorry, not battle threads. Uh, sorry, the advanced threads. It says on the thing it's supposed to, but it doesn't give you any. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone has already knows this, but it's a terribly slow grind. I mean, moon, moon, uh, moon coins get you a couple, but they're really expensive, even for moon scrolls um, conversions. I could buy 10 cave keys for every single one of the common threads, but I mean, like, at least every cave key gets me closer to something else. I mean, sorry, gets me closer to... Actually, probably not anymore. I could probably buy eight, eight threads before I get even one point in runestones. I mean, like, one level in runestones at, at this point in time. So I don't know, maybe I should put more effort into the battle armor. But anyway, continuing on, we have... Number 16, one ingot sale. It goes from August 1st to August 7th. One ingot sale has an icon in the main interface. Players can click the icon in, um, to participate in the event. Every item has a required number of participations. Use a minimum of one ingots to take part in a phase of a given item. Not all items are, have um, cost one ingot in order to participate. Once the target number of participants Patience is reached. This system will randomly pick up a winner who will receive the item in their mailbox. Every item has a limited number of phases. Once an, uh, once an item reaches the number, the target number of participation, it will randomly given to a lucky player, and the item will move up a phase. <clears throat> so what it means by a limited number of phases, and that every time it um, every time it shells out to a random player, it moves up a phase, is that um, it can only move up a phase until um, to a certain point and then it'll stop being available for per people to buy, basically, or participate to buy. The more times a player participates, the higher the chance, yeah, of course, I mean, if, if, if this didn't happen, then like, um, it would be kind of unfair, sort of unfair. By the time the event ends, if the required amount of participations for a phase is not reached, ingots for participation in a certain phase it blah, of an item will be given back to the player as coupons. During the event, the following items can be acquired. In materials, we have Steel Scroll times 1, Purification Breakthrough Peel times 1, Command Flag times 1, Deluxe Mural Buckle Optional Pack times 1, Rainbow Magatama Level 5 times 1, Cultivation Scroll times 10, Gift Packs, um, sorry, <clears throat> the gift packs, for, for gift packs anyway, you have the special charm material pack, the advanced skill trial pack, the, why is it the dashes and not the commas now, um, the ninja cis cultivation pack, the special seals pack, and the tactics optional gift pack, which has, which Gives you the option of ten of any of the page, no, ten pages of any of the um, the tactics thingy. You know how it works. I'm pretty sure you do. Refine runes optional pack and cave key gift pack. Uh, also, things that are available are yes master clothing line, the Sasuke Shari. Sharing gun, apparently. I think it's supposed to be um, Rene Sharing gun. Here is in Sarutobu, Sarutobi Edo Tensei, Mara Uchiha, Five Kage Summit, and Giant Clam. Number 17, we have August Summer Break. Eh, just an update because we're heading into a new month. Are you traveling for the first time to the US? Are you looking for something more exotic like Japan or China? Are you looking to get some fun in countries like such as Portugal or the Bahamas. Enjoy your holidays. Unfortunately for people like me, who've only just gone back to uni university. But don't worry, I will still play games in my free time because I would be bored out of my mind otherwise. Or working. I like money. 
it's ends out as Oasis. But again, they get money for doing basically nothing. And that's my gripe. Number 18, new packs are available in the Purchase Limit Shop interface. Have a look at the new packs, probably to do stuff with the battle armor. And of course with the... you got the dice, the lucky snatch, um, not lucky snatch. No, yeah, that's the only two I can think about. The battle armor and the dice. <laughs> Number 19, last but not least, limited points, dice, summon scrolls. Oh yeah, summon scrolls. There are probably a bunch of summon scrolls. But summon scrolls, time limited. Remember there is time limited, time... Um, ah, summon scrolls. The Lucky Stars discount vouchers obtained for this week's event need to be spent this week. Once the event ends, limited points, dice, summon scroll, time limited, Lucky Stars, and discount vouchers you didn't use but reset to zero. A good thing to note is that actually discount vouchers only have a 24-hour life expectancy. Not life expectancy. They expire in 24 hours of obtaining them, which is really annoying. Because this is this is also another way for them to get rid of discount vouchers and make you get them only when you need them. Um, it's really annoying, but what can you do? And especially since they actually don't tell you what the daily specials are, and the daily specials, you can't even see what's on the daily specials in the event interface itself. Making it very difficult to plan out what you want to get, so you can only get them when they appear. Which just drives, well, which is basically a tactic people use in order to create, um, well, make you more impulsive to buy stuff, basically. It's the whole um, on sales theory thingy. I forget what it's called. Like, apparently, something could be priced at like 100 bucks and no one buys it, but if you price it at let's just say 150 and there's $20 off on it like people and it's $100 people will buy it in droves thinking oh this is good when it's not because it's only worth previously $100 or was sold at $100 so yeah um it's something about something about that theory or something whole whole theory I mean not like the whole sales thing is uh it's just a tactic in order to get people to buy more anyway that is all for this week's event announcement pretty pretty weak this week uh, just the shinobi feast really you got a couple of free stuff for the um sh for the lucky board and the lucky star uh, shinobi feast will be interesting to see what's on there I'm pretty sure it didn't even tell us what... Oh, wait. I think it was last week's? Oh. I can't remember now. I don't know what the August sign-in ninja is. I'm pretty sure it was announced last week, but um, I'll probably double-check on that later in my own time. But that is all for this week's. My name's Azakai. I take that back. And the same remark as every other week, the deadline of new server event and the weekly event are set according to the player's local time, your computer time, not the server time. Daily missions and daily recharge event, the daily recharge event in which you get 4 star gar, we're recharging for 5 days, are all refreshed 5 server time, so don't miss out. And with that, I can finally close off this event video. Hope you enjoy listening to me speak about events for the next week and complaining in my, um, at random moments. But... My name is Azuko. Have a nice day.